Would you like a more successful and satisfying career focusing on cloud computing? Many do, and I have some advice for you. Let's talk about it. Welcome to the Cloud Computing Insider. This channel explores the ins and outs of cloud computing without an agenda, our following into the narrative set by Big Tech Marketing. We look at what works and what does not, and the actual value of this technology in a balanced and information forward way. If that interests you, please subscribe, like, and comment. I'm your host, David Linthicum, author, speaker, cloud and AI architect, top 10 cloud and AI influencer, B-list geek, and over the hill mountain biker. Let's get started. So this is really, uh, something that uh, a lot of you guys have requested uh, since I started the channel, and that's really uh, some way to look or to map out your best path through uh, cloud computing. And so in other words, if you're going to decide that cloud computing is going to be a career path, and there's hundreds of things that you can do as that can be part of that career, then here's my advice in terms of how to be most successful in moving, moving there. So first thing, start with the self-assessment. So cloud is a vast and quickly evolving uh, technology. And before diving in, it's critical to know both yourself and the industry. You need to take stock in your current skills, interests, and motivations, and that will guide you toward the most rewarding career path. So again, this is about people understanding what they want to do with their lives and what gets them up in the morning. If this is just going to be a money grab for you, in other words, you're just looking to get into cloud computing because you understand it pays well, and I can understand that motivation, that's not going to leave you in a happy place. So you need to evaluate your strengths. So, you know, am I more into more technical development or architecture or strategy or uh, project management? Am I, do I want to align more with the business or align with the technology? Identify your motivations. Do you want to build, lead, or innovate the cloud? What gets you up in the morning again? And then your ability to stay current. The cloud landscape evolves rapidly and you need to be able to follow these trends. AWS, Microsoft, Google, going to events, keeping up with the state of the technology is very important to you being successful on this cloud computing career path. So you need to be willing to do that. So next and also very important, understand the cloud ecosystem to make smarter decisions. Ultimately, you need to understand the building blocks of cloud and where you might fit in. You need to know the foundational service models and trends that will help you navigate opportunities and specialize effectively. So in other words, you need to know a lot about cloud computing in terms of holistically what it is, what it does, what are the subcategories, governance, security, architecture, things like that. And so you can focus on something that specifically interests you. So the core service models like infrastructure as a service, platform as a service, software as a service, you know, you know, what do, do, do those things mean to business? You need to look at some of the emerging trends such as hybrid and multi-cloud computing, big data integration, data security, serverless edge computing, goes on for a long time. And the different career paths you can take from those derivatives, cloud architect, DevOps engineer, cloud security analyst, solution engineer, product manager, cloud consultant. Again, hundreds of ways in which you can take your career down the cloud computing path. So the next word of advice is to build broad and deep skills. Most successful cloud professionals start with a general knowledge of cloud computing before diving deep into a particular focus area, security, serverless, things like that. And it's vital for you to lay a strong technical foundation, then pursue the specialization uh, as you gain experience. So again, it's not you jumping right into cloud security, but understanding holistically what cloud computing is and then picking a path inclusive of cloud security. So foundational knowledge, networking, storage, compute, security basics are non-negotiables. You need to understand those things. You have to take classes to figure out what that technology is and what it does. There's certifications that are available. Uh, use it, you can use them as stepping stones, you know, such as Comp TIA Cloud, uh, then platform specifics like AWS and Microsoft certification, Solution Architect, Azure Fundamentals, all those are available for you. Uh, fairly inexpensive, but they're fairly time consuming and you getting through those certifications. And then develop full stack, stack thinking. So understand how cloud integrates with data, analytics, machine learning, DevOps, and security. You need not, not only understand what cloud computing is, but how everything functionally works together and how it relates to legacy systems, how it relates 
to enterprise infrastructure that's been around for 20 days or 20 years um, and understanding the complete ecosystem of the cloud in how these dependencies are built, how these interfaces are built and what you need to know to exploit them. So next I urge you to do real world projects and hand on, hands on practice. So that's gonna provide you the best benefit and the best experience. So in the cloud, nothing beats practical experience. Real world projects demonstrates your problem solving ability and builds portfolios that give you credibility. You know, one of the things I do in my fully mentored architecture class is take my students through uh, architecture simulation. Now there was a complete project from, you know, writing the statement of work to uh, negotiating the contract to, you know, getting the deliverables done and creating the logical architecture, the physical architecture, the security architecture, the governance architecture, dealing with cloud ops, security operations, all those things are very important. You understand how to do a specific thing very well. It's not just understanding the concepts, but getting your hands on the particular technology and doing things. So get your hands dirty. Use free tiers and sandboxes to build proof of concept apps on some of the cloud providers out there. Migrate some workloads, automate tasks. Um, your portfolio is going to lead to credibility. So document and share your projects. Do it on social media if you can. Don't violate NDAs, but blog your cloud experiments, contribute to open sources, source communities, and participate in hackathons. So it's what I tell my students, it's what I tell anybody I'm mentoring. This is a game where participation counts. And your ability not only to do something and get the experience, but to show people what you're experiencing and what you're learning is extremely important as well. That's gonna get you noticed and that getting noticed is gonna get you some good jobs. So next would be prioritize soft skills and business acumen. So technology, techn technical talent is an essential, but cloud projects don't succeed without communications and a good business sense. So executives want technologists who understand business priorities and can translate solutions into outcomes that'll bring value back to the business. So communications is a critical skill here. Translate tech jargon into business value, become the cloud bridge at your organization. In other words, a person who's able to align the cloud technology directly with the business. Collaborate with people and peers. Work with you know infra development, security, and business teams and understand that the cloud is not going to be built in isolation. So if you're building cloud technology within an enterprise, you have to work with the security team, the enterprise architecture, architecture team, the CIO's uh, staff. All of these people participate in your success in understanding how to solve problems that are going to get to a business outcome. So next, build your network and personal brand. Can't just stress this enough. This stuff is free now and it's very impactful. No cloud professional succeeds alone and your network that you build on social media, X, LinkedIn, things like that, and your reputation will precede you and open doors. Getting involved in a community and sharing your experience strengthens your brand and opportunities. So you can do things like engaged with a community, uh, you know, follow industry leaders, you know, on LinkedIn and Twitter, join user groups and conferences, participate in forums. The meetups are online now. You can typically uh, join these meetups for a few dollars, if, if not free, uh, and you're able to meet and make a lot of connections at these events. Mentorship, find a mentor and be a mentor. You learn both ways. In other words, provide service, provide expertise when asked, and ask for expertise when you need it. Continuous learning is key. Cloud is dynamic, and your ability to allocate regular times for podcasts, online courses, and news will lead you to some benefits. So I'm not saying that everybody out there should have a YouTube channel and, and uh, uh, host a podcast, but I am saying that there should be some mechanism that you're able to leverage and maintain, which gets your opinions out there, which gets you in front of many people. Now. I understand that uh, many people in the technology field are gonna be very introverted. I'm an introvert, but you need to kind of get by that in order to get to the larger opportunity. So build your network, communicate uh, your successes, communicate out in your community, participate actively. Communication is very important. So next would be plan your career. Move intentionally. Great crowd, cloud careers don't happen by accident. Each role should be a stepping stone 
uh, toward your larger vision, regularly assess your progress and seek positions where you can deliver even more impact. So in other words, try to do things that are outside of your comfort zone. Take jobs, take uh, tasks, take on roles and responsibilities. Maybe something that's going to be challenging for you. That's going to allow you to build as a professional. Set milestones, you know. Entry, intermediate, senior leadership are specialists. In other words, you have to go up these, these different ladders and you have stepping stones to get to those higher level positions. Look for impact, not just titles. Move where you can solve bigger problems, lead larger transformations, or drive innovation. And then finally, consider consulting. Broaden your expertise across industries and architectures. Cons joining a consulting firm or becoming a consultant is probably your fastest path to experience. You know, as people know, if they work for a consulting firm, one year in a consulting firm is probably equ equivalent to three, sometimes five years in the industry because you work on so many things very quickly. So you need to make a decision as to how you're going to learn the stuff and your best path to do it. That doesn't mean you shouldn't join a company and become an architect or a security specialist or a cloud infrastructure specialist for that particular company. It just, if you're trying to compress a lot of experience in a very short amount of time, joining a consulting firm or starting a consulting firm is going to be your best path to do it. And it pays well. So here's a table to follow in terms of different cloud computing career paths and skill paths and certifications you may need to make the most out of those cloud computing roles. And so I'll take you through each domain, but understand the table that's in front of you now and use this as your jumping off point. So what are some of these cloud career domains? Well, you have architecture. Architects are blueprint designers who ensure cloud systems are scalable, maintainable, and cost efficient. It's obviously what I've done for the last 30 years. Success in this role comes from balancing innovation with practical constraints like budget, regulations, and long-term adaptability. It's your ability to get value to the business through these technical architectures, which are really just configurations of technology. There are certifications such as AWS or Azure, Azure Architect, if you're looking at a particular cloud provider, and they're able to validate depth of knowledge by showcasing your experience in real world migration, systems integration, and cross team guidance that will set you apart. So these are ways in which you can prove your credibility in this particular space. Grow leads toward principal architecture roles, uh, enterprise architecture leadership, or eventually the CTO. So this growth is going to go into different opportunities. You're going to go from an architect to a principal architect. In other words, a master architect, you're running different architectural teams into other executives, maybe, uh, maybe VP of architecture and VP of cloud computing. Like I was a chief cloud strategy officer when I was at Deloitte and then grow that eventually into larger, more challenging and more rewarding roles, you know, such as chief technology officer or CTO. And that's a good destination to look for because that's the pinnacle, I think, of a cloud computing career. You're not only just dealing with how the technology works, but you're figuring out how it's gonna work in the light of a larger business strategy. So what about DevOps? Well, DevOps specialists are the automation engines behind faster, more reliable cloud uh, deployments. In other words, they're how things get built and maintained. Mastery of CICD, continuous integration, continuous development pipelines, infrastructure as code, and rapid recovery strategies are key to this role and you being successful in this role. This is about process improvements and how to use these process improvements in line with technology. So there are popular certifications out there you can use, such as AWS DevOps Engineer or Google Professional DevOps Engineer. And you can also, at the same time, keep an eye on the emerging tools, platforms, and processes that are out there. Some of the career advancements, you know, looks like expanding site expanding into site reliability engineering, automation architectures, or leading DevOps transformation initiatives. So in other words, it's moving into a role like a DevOps engineer that's associated just with cloud and the ability to expand that into site reliability engineering, which normally is more responsibility, pays a bit more, and then getting into the DevOps leaders, the people who are leading uh, DevOps chains and DevOps tool chains and DevOps organizations are running the scrums every day and they're doing everything that needs to be done to build and deploy applications that are important to the business. So what about security? Cloud security is a critical domain protect, to protect data and identity in distributed and ever-changing environments, which is what cloud computing is. It's a large, complex, distributed system, very heterogeneous. 
Must-have skills include hands-on identity access management, network segmentation, threat modeling, and regulatory compliance. Your ability to understand how all this stuff fits together in terms of legal, best practices, and technology that's going to provide you with the best security for your cloud environments. Credentials like CCSP or AWS Certified uh, cloud, uh, cloud Security uh, validates the expertise, but re regular upskilling is necessary for as the threats evolve. So in other words, this is not an end of a journey. This, I mean, sorry, this is not a destination. This is a journey. And you're going to have to keep learning and keep updating your skills because guess what? The attack services are changing. The attackers and their profiles are changing. The threats are changing. Different things are emerging. Different best practices are emerging and different technologies are emerging that'll enable you to build the best security system you can. So this is also about taking a proactive interest in what trends are happening in the industry and your ability to pick what technologies are gonna be important to you and also leaving alone the technologies that are not. Both are equally as important. Then there's data, AI, machine learning. Uh, specialist in this area uh, turn cloud platforms into engines for data-driven innovation. In other words, they allow them to make decisions and produce dynamic behaviors that the businesses can leverage to their advantage. They enable advanced analytics, real-time analytics, and AI solutions. I'm kind of bunching a bunch of things in here, but I think everybody understands what this is. This is a skill that's going to focus on setting up scalable data lakes, designing robust machine learning pipelines, and integrating cloud native AI services. And some of the certifications that would be helpful here include cloud, uh, Google Cloud Data Engineer and other analytic certifications. And they uh, again allow you to demonstrate proficiency and showcase end-to-end -end product delivery ultimately is gonna be crucial as well. Your ability to show a portfolio as to where you've been successful. Senior roles, including data scientists, AI solutions architect, or the head of enterprise AI strategy are really the destination here. So in other words, you're able to move up into those positions uh, from a more tactical role into something that's gonna be more strategic to the, uh, to the company. And they pay really well. AI engineers, AI architects, data scientists, uh, in many cases, uh, make a great deal of money. So some final words of advice would be cloud technology will keep changing. And it's your adaptability and curiosity that will set you apart other than anything else. If you're into looking at what's changed, then this career is for you. But always be focusing on the real business value of this technology, as well as giving back to your community. And this allows you to shape a meaningful career path and also a well-rounded life with work-life balance. Stay humble and curious. There are always something new and embrace learning as a lifelong process, a lifelong process. What's changing? What should be important to you? What's important to your employer or your client? Focus on the business value. Cloud is not a tool. Businesses want solutions, not technology. So again, the cloud is only a tool that we can leverage. Technology we can leverage. We have to get to the return of business value, which is our goal. And give back, publish, speak, you know, help others in your community, you know, as you multiply your opportunities out there. So this is gonna be a well-rounded things that, of things you need to do. You need to participate in your community. You need to be uh, a very active speaker, a very active contributor. Uh, you need to write articles, you need to do LinkedIn posts, you need to do all of the work just besides understanding what cloud computing is and the specific things that you need to know about how you're going to do your particular job. It's very important that you have this well-rounded uh, set of things that you're really good at. So anyway, I hope that helped. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Check out my other videos on this channel. Also check out my InfoWorld Cloud Computing blog, my 100 plus LinkedIn learning courses, and of course my Generative AI Architecture course out on Go Cloud Careers, and my other YouTube show, AI Insights Innovation on the Keep Research YouTube channel, and finally my latest book, An Insider's Guide to Cloud Computing. So until next week, stay very, very safe. Later.